It's time to tell the big story. It's time to tell the story about the time 13 Hyde Park Indians got jumped by the Apache Stone on 83rd Street. So, in order to tell this story, I, I gotta tell how it started, all right? So, um, for, the, for the people that, that were there, they may remember how it started, they may not. So, back and I think it was, it had to be our junior year, junior, senior year, I don't know, I don't remember, one of them years. Definitely one sophomore, but it was junior, senior. Uh, we had a game, I don't know if it was homecoming, whatever. I don't know, everybody was there. Like, everybody and their mama was at this game. So, it had to be something kind of important, right? So, at, during that time, I used to wear uh, silver chains. I don't know if anybody remember. I had like a bunch of cheap ass Woolworth chains that I used to wear and shit. You know, I had like six or seven of them bitches. I don't know. I was overcompensating for not having no uh, designer clothes. <laughs> so I was able to go to Woolworths and buy the silver, and that's what I used to. That was that was my that was my uh that's, that made me feel good buying that silver with my own money. But anyway, so I had all these these chains. I had these little charms and all this stuff on it. So. Uh, during the game, I ran across these two females, um, and they, and you know, and and you know, I'm not, I don't, you know, they, they, all right, they was folks, they was, they was GD, they was GD women, GD girls, GD hoes, I don't know what you call them, I don't know G, G, G women, they was G women, um, and and uh, and they commented first, they first passed me, they comment, oh, you have some nice chains, oh, those nice, so I was like, oh, thank you, I went about my way, they passed me again, one of them was like, hey. Let us get one of them chains. You got enough of them. Let me get one. Let, me, let her get one. I said, no, nah, y'all can't have my chains. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, I ain't giving up no chains. So they was like, mm, we'll see about that. So I see them. They walk off. I watch. So now I got it. I'm like, damn, what they on? <laughs> These two bras finna try to jump me. So I see them go talk to some dudes. I look at the dudes. Oh, God damn it. They, 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 these GD dudes. These some GDs. They had the game. I don't, I don't, they ain't go to school or whatever. They was just there. So I see the girls pointing me out to the guys. I'm like, oh, this is some bullshit right here, right? So I let the crew know that was at the game. I was like, hey, look, I'm having some difficulties. You know, these people probably finna try to jump me. Blah, blah, blah. We need to make a motion. You know what I'm saying? I need to let them know I got support in this motherfucker, right? So the word was passed, passed around to the little crew. Uh, the crew, Kamal, uh, Walter, Tweet, Mike, uh, Mac, Devon, Will, Steve. These all, these basically all the people that used to ride uh, south from 83rd. Like that was riding, like we was like a whole little crew that was gonna be riding out south. Like you know. That was always a test of, of, of where you live, like, you know what I'm saying? What you about it, about how far south you rode. So anyway, we, uh, so when it was time, we was like, all right, let's go. You know, I'm letting everybody know. We all stood up at one time. It was 13 of us. And I don't remember all the 13, of course. I didn't name all the 13, but it was 13 of us. I remember that. We all stood up at one time. All, and then the, 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 the dudes and the girls uh, that was looking at me, uh, we walked right by the ass Because it was too many of us They couldn't do shit It was just, you know So we walked right by them I was like, yes, we made it So as we leave the stadium There was this little ice cream truck right there And I can't remember who it was that wanted ice cream If, if it was you, out yourself now So somebody wanted ice cream Might have been a couple of people wanted ice cream So They standing in line to get the damn At the ice cream truck Meanwhile Me and Mac looking we can see some dudes like just looking at everybody, just looking, just walking between everybody, just looking, walking between. I'm like, ah, shit. I'm like, hurry up, y'all. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, they still get their little ice cream sandwiches or whatever. So we we turn that corner, we go down 83rd. We walking, me. So everybody in front of us at the at the front is Mike Chambers. I don't know why he was at the front, but at the front is Mike. At the rear is me and Devon, Matt, Abdul. Now, we're gonna call him Mac for this story. Uh, so me and Mac at the back, we walking. I, you know, my spidey senses is tingling. They've been tingling 
shit, all fucking, all, all game, apparently. Um, anyway, I know something finna go down. So I, I'm telling Mac, man, I'm like, man, look, we about to get jumped, bro. And not only do I tell him we about to get jumped, I let him know who finna run. He say, nah, we ain't finna get jumped. It's 13 of us, and so-and-so ain't finna run. I was like, whatever, bro, we finna get jumped. Nah, no, it couldn't have been 30 seconds after I said, after he said we wasn't finna get jumped. I'm I'm looking to say something to him. I look to my left, because he, he, he close to the street. We walking. We walking this way, he close to the street. I'm close to the us. Uh, I'm, I'm 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 closer to the houses, whatever. Dude, all I seen was somebody just run up, and all I seen was a fist. A fist just hit the back of Mac head. Boom! Right? And in that moment, time slowed down. Like it really did. Time slowed down. All I seen was Matt glasses went like this and shit. Like, let me see, how can I do it? They went like, woo, like that. They went, woo. I seen his glasses go like that. I seen his head go forward. He had a token in his hand. I seen the token fly out his hand. He had a book in the other hand. The book was fluttering. Like, it was all slow motion. I'm like, damn. Oh, wait, right before that, I had seen a dude riding a bike. Like a bike with a, like a dirt bike. Not a, not a bike, a BMX bike uh, with like mag, mag tires. Uh, and he, I seen him, he, 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 he rolled by real slow right before this happened with Matt. He rolled by real slow. And I, I'll tell you why that's important later. So, bam, Matt gets hit. Everything explodes off his body. <laughs> Everything explodes off his body, right? Uh, so I look to my left and all I see is dudes running out this alley and shit. They is coming full speed ahead. Oh, oh, by this time too, Mac is fighting with the dude that punched him. They fighting like in the street. Like, like Mac recovered, turned around, squared up. They boxing in the street. So I look to my left, I see people running this way. Mac's fighting here. People running to my left, running towards us. I look to my right, all I see is whoever we was with running. Like, I don't know who ran first, all I know is I seen feet. All I seen was foot soles. All right, this way. So, I don't know what to do. Before I can decide what to do, somebody's in my face. Right there, bam, they right there. I'm like, oh shit, I still on him, Still on him. Soon as I still on him, blah, somebody stole on me, blah. The next thing I know, somebody else stole on him, blah. And then blah, 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 blah. So I drop, I drop down. I drop all the way down. Uh, I, I get into a position where I'm trying to cover my head uh, and my body. Um, and they got me up against a little fence. They had a little rod iron fence right there. It was against a little church or something like that. And they kicking me. And they hit me in the head. They kicking me, hit me in the head. I seen a, I, I remember, distinctly remember a bus going by. And the bus stopping or whatever. You know, and I'm like, oh shit, the bus. I don't know why I thought that, but. Um, and then the bus pulled off. And then I'm, I'm still trying to fight. I'm like, I got like at least three, four motherfuckers like over me. And I remember grabbing the dudes. Dude had like a little jacket on or something that had the little pockets right there. I don't know if it was members only or whatever, but I ripped. I was trying to pull myself up. I ripped his pockets out. And then that made them more mad. They, they, they beat on me some more. So next thing I know, dudes start flying every which way. Woo, woo, woo. Dude is, is getting ripped off me. Some dude, some... Some black man, grown man, had stopped his vehicle, seen what was happening, stopped his vehicle, and, and decided to pull these dudes up off me. He was huge too. Like he was bald head and he was like six, six eleven, no, six thirteen or something. Six in six in a lot. He was six in a lot. And he was huge. He had like a little wife beat on or whatever. And he just started yanking people up off me, yanking them, yanking, them, yanking. Them. I'm like, oh shit. So he, he grabbed me up and he was like, run. And so I look to my right. I see two dudes holding Mac jacket. Y'all remember that jacket? That jacket, that damn uh that damn uh uh Letterman type jacket and shit with the it was leather, it was cold as hell is probably the reason why 
Mac start doing embroidery and shit. You know, you remember that jacket? That motherfucker was cold as hell. It was leather, leather. You know the one. Um. So they holding it. They holding it like this. They holding it, and they looking at it. They looking at it, and like I'm like, hey, they got my dude jacket right there. So dude walk over, snatch the jacket from the dudes, put it in my chest, and say, now nah, run. Now mind you, at this point, I ain't got no glasses no more. They not the glasses on my face. I can't see nothing. Uh, I don't know where nobody at. I don't know what's going on. So I just start running up 83rd towards Jeffrey. As I get towards Jeffrey, now mind you, I can't see. I see a group of dudes. Like on the side of the street I'm on, it's a group of dudes. It's like bear. I'm like, oh shit. I'm finna get my ass whooped again. Not only did I did I get away, but now I got this motherfucking jacket too. So I motherfucking cross the street like that's gonna help. Me. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. What, what, what else what else am I gonna do? I'm trying to get home. So I cross the street to the other side of 83rd. I think I might have seen somebody on the way too. I don't know who I might have saw on the way, but I cross the street. And next thing I, I hear somebody say, Jose, Jose. Turns out. It was the rest of the guys. The guys apparently doing the, the ensuing whatever. Apparently the dude on the bike. Dude on the bike that I first saw. When he rode up to the front, Mike was in the front. Dude stole on Mike. Bow. I guess they got to fight. Uh, the bus came. The bus drivers like told everybody, get on. So everybody that was right there got on the bus. They ain't know who. Now, yeah, they ran, but shit, I mean, I guess that was, you know, initial um, response. They ran, but they didn't run far. They got on the bus, bus took off, dropped them off down on 83rd and Jeffrey. Then they realized, shit, there's people missing. There's people missing. We need to find out, you know, you know, it was me. It was me missing, and it was Steve Harris missing. We was the two people that was missing. They couldn't account for them. So they decided they're gonna come back. Uh, which is how I encountered them. Come to find out, and this is the point, not, not, you know, unfortunately, this is a true story. So uh, whenever we all get together, it comes up. And that's why y'all don't see Steve Harris at uh, a lot of our events, you know, or any. I, I don't know that Steve has been to any event that I've been to. And uh, I know he around. I seen him at one of my uh, my, my son's football games. Uh, he lived in the suburbs. But anyway, and this is a good friend of mine. So he and I were both missing. They found me. We never found him. I got home. I called Steve. And uh, apparently Steve, instead of, you know, everybody else ran, Steve kept running. He ran all the way to the bus stop and got on the bus and went home. And you know, and, and 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 we make fun of it now, but again, that that's a point of contention. <laughs> like because we always make fun of it. Like you know, he don't fuck with us like that no more. You know what I mean? Like it always comes up. Like that, ah, you ran that time, didn't you? <laughs> and, and you know what? You know, do I blame him? I don't know if I blame him or not. You know what I mean? Shit, that's my guy. I mean, I mean, I mean, we went to seventh, eighth grade together. He's my guy. I think he cool as fuck. I think it was just, you know, shit. At the moment, he didn't know what the fuck was going on. Shit. He hopped on the next thing he saw going on, which was the bus. Going back to the matter. You know what I mean? Um, I, I can't really be mad at him for that. Uh, because at the end, uh, I turned out, every, everything turned out all right. So, here's the funny part. I had to get my glasses back. So, I had to go home. Matt got his jacket, because I had it. Matt got his jacket. Uh, I had to go home, my dad, you know, and I ain't had no glass, so I can't see, I go home, my dad asks, you know, what happened, I tell him what happened, except I lied a little bit, because that particular day, because I ain't give a fuck, I ain't had no book bag to bring home, right, so I told my dad, I told my dad that, uh, all these damn bees is tripping, move, uh, I told my dad that they stole they stole my book bag <laughs> and then they, they knocked my glasses off and they uh they knocked my hat off or whatever i used to have a blue hat a blue cubs hat 
but for some dumb reason I had colored in with a, a black marker on the seat. So it was like, it wasn't red, it was black. I, I don't know what the fuck I was even thinking. Anyway, um, so my dad and my grandfather, both, both police officers, they, we went back to the scene of the crime. And my uh, hat was on the little, uh, on one of those wrought iron posts that they had beat me up against. And my glasses was like down in the weeds or whatever. So we found my hat, we found my glasses. My dad was like, oh yeah, I don't know about your book bag, you know. Not knowing, I ain't never bring no book bag home. So when I brought it back home the next day, I was like, yeah, somebody had, uh, somebody got it from him or some shit. I don't know. I told him some lie. Some lie I told him. But that's the true story of what happened that day. Um, and again, uh, for all the people that was there, I'm not, you know, shit, shit went down the way the shit went down. You know what I mean? I don't, you know, I'm, I, I think I'm the one that ended up getting my ass beat the most that day. The most, you know what I'm saying? Mike got stole on, Vaughn fought him a, a nigga, he got hit in the back of the head, he fought a nigga in the street. Uh, but me, I got kicked and punched in the head like for a minute, at least, at least a good two minutes. I was getting fucked up, you know what I mean? But, you know, if nothing else, I could take an ass whooping. So, you know, it wasn't that bad. Anyway, that's my true story. HP forever. Peace out.